I uh, I don't know why I was getting a lot of Parasite E vibes from that. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Resident Evil Code Veronica. Technically, if you want to be technical with like the fans, this is considered Resident Evil Four before you know Resident Evil Four. So okay, here's why I know the game. That's Chris and uh, Claire Redfield. So we're going to find out what happened to Chris, why he wasn't in Resident Evil Two. And we can also find out how Albert survived being impaled and... Uh, oh, that's, that's cute. I miss games when I used to do stuff like this. Okay, now here's an interesting thing about this game. Originally, this was a Dreamcast exclusive. I used to play on the Dreamcast on Sonic Adventure and so many other really great Sega games. Um, this, unfortunately, when the Dreamcast failed, many games of it, including this one, didn't do so well financially. So... It got released on multiple uh, platforms, Xbox, PlayStation, PC, and I feel like since I've finished all of the other major Resident Evil games, why not give this one a try? And, yep, a save in there. God, this was released on the Xbox 360, it feels old seeing this sound like this. Uh, yep, create a save. <laughs> it's, it's, I'm excited to get back into more Resident Evil, uh, I've been kind of missing the... <laughs> leaderboards? There's a leaderboard? <laughs> Much in that. Well, you're not gonna say the rest of it, dude? <laughs> America, America Mr. Western oh. town, Raccoon City has been completely decimated due to the team. Sorry there, mate. I didn't realize you were commentating. The International Corporation Umbrella. Claire Redfield, who arrived in Raccoon City to search for her lost brother Chris and a rookie police officer, Leon S. Kennedy, managed to escape from the city. But their ordeal was only a prelude of things to come. Except for Claire, she got removed from the mainline series. Three months later. Three months? As I, do, I joke about it, it is kind of sad that not much happened with Claire after Resident Evil 2, really. She's in, she's in some of the movies, but that's honestly about it. Your identification number is WKD4496. <sighs> Welcome to your new home. Okay, I feel like we're missing some her context name is Claire here. Redfield. We caught her trespassing in our Paris lab facility 10 days ago. Oh. She apparently infiltrated the complex looking for her lost brother, Chris Redfield, one of the surviving members of RPD's famous Stars teams. God damn it, why do we have Stormtrooper Aim? This seems like a bit much to try and stop, you know, one person, and... You killed your own guys! You idiots! <laughs> God damn it, I know my brother were incompetent and had to rely on monsters, but come on! I am for where she was standing before! Okay, I'll, knowing this game's logic, they're all gonna miss and just hit the stairs behind her. Also, how did you infiltrate this place? Oh my god. Okay, that was pretty sick. <laughs> I'm not even gonna deny that, that was sick. <laughs> Seriously, when did Claire become a badass? In like the previous game. Oh. Yeah, in the previous game, she was only just a civilian. I mean, she did have training from Chris, so. Ooh. I like the fact as well, they don't like. They just. They allow her to wear her clothing and don't even put her in like prison outfit. So we're in a prison. Interesting. Someone tells me this prison though is uh, not built to standards.
God, if only I was the master at lot picking, like, what's her name? Jill Valentine or something? You're looking well, buddy. I will admit, um, Claire, you weren't exactly dressed for, uh, you know, <laughs> infiltration. You seemed like you were just in your casual outfit. Oh, if I put the light, I could see outside. Um, well, I do have a light up. Uh, playing manual, um, let's have a look-see. Alright. When you're taking a new item, always remember to look at it with the check command on the status screen. Remember, it's always best to rotate the item so you can check it from different angles. Of course, to look for secrets to solve puzzles. If you place an object and then press and hold up on the directional pad, sometimes you will be able to push it. You may find hidden rooms and items this way. Ooh! You can turn 180 degrees instantly by pressing A while holding down on a directional pad. This is an effective movement when you attack an enemy and then want to turn around and run. I always never bother with that. I don't know why. I just always forget about that. <laughs> when you're lost or are unsure what to do, check the map screen. You can easily tell where you've never been and can see which doors you have unlocked. All right, then. Uh, you can find the send some object to do this. Uh, face the object and then press X. Okay, oh my god, there's a lot. Now, items you store in your security box in the prison area cannot be accessed through an item box. Make sure you remove all important items from the security box before it exit the room. Oh, wait. So, wait, is this saying like... Nah, I'm probably reading it too much into it. Uh, okay, the player manual's gone. No, no, no it's... Yeah, we're good. Oh, oh my goodness, there's, there's a lot. I seem to be only able to access that. Uh, okay then. Um, oh, wait. wait um, ah, got that. There we go. Uh, equipped. Uh, how do I. Hello, gorgeous! I thought you were holding your guts, you were bleeding. Also, why are you the guy that arrested me? I mean, in all honesty, you don't look too bad, mate. You just got a bit of dirt on your shirt. Perfect. Go on. Get out of here. This place is finished. I don't know, it might have been a special forces team. But in any case, this prison's been taken over. Troops have been wiped out. What are you saying? You're free to leave the complex. But you may as well know, you have no chance of getting off this island. And what about you? What are you going to do? Don't worry about me. He's gonna be a zombie, isn't he? Okay, ooh, tank controls. Ooh, I'm not used to this. Oh, goodness. I am not used to this again. <laughs> I missed the old uh, control scheme. Right, so. Okay, hold an A to uh, run. How do I... Uh... Ah, X button. Alright, got a handgun bullets. Can I pick you up? Uh, a hemostatic capsule on the floor. It's empty. Well, unfortunate. Okay, oh my goodness. I uh, I need to get used to tank controls again. <laughs> oh no. It's a list of prisoners. My name is at the end. WKD4496, Claire Redfield. The escort's name is at the end of the document. A private medical Paris Food Security Unit leader. Rodrigo Jean Rappel. I hope I'm pronouncing that name right. Uh, can I have this knife? Yeah, knife. That's very knife. All right. So try and remember when I played the first game. All right. Ugh. No, no. Oh, who wonder who the, was the lucky police officer that was able to uh, spray down Claire Redfield? <laughs> uh, you don't want to. You don't want to come with me, man. His eyes are closed. He's bleeding. I need some hemostatic medicine. Uh, Claire, I wouldn't worry about Mr. Rodriguez or whatever his name was. I think he's dead. But he said he got shot, so they've sent in a team that... Do you, can I actually... Uh, can I put on subtitles? Uh, 
It doesn't seem like I can. Oh. Oh. Uh, no. Sorry, guys, I can't put on subtitles. It's just the way it's going to have to be. Ah, Ink Ribbons. Yes, in Resident Evil 2's remake and in the, the classic Resident Evil remaster I played in the, a few years ago. That was the only way to save the game. Oh boy, I am both looking forward to this and also not looking forward to this. Alright. I will say, this came out on the Dreamcast. It still holds up. It actually looks, looks really good. Alright. And also, I like the fact you need to use the light ridge of light resource. That's a really cool detail. Can I interact with you? Nope, I cannot. Just dirt on the floor. Man, it feels good to get back into a Resident Evil game. I, I've missed this, man. Oh, really? I had to press the X button just to get f on the stairs. I feel the vibrations of the heartbeat in my controller. I don't like it. No, look up. Why would you, if you're going up the stairs, why would you look at the stairs? Okay. Ooh. Truck used for transport. Oil's leaking from the uh, wrecked truck. A dead body in briefcase can be seen inside. Oh, can it now? Oh, obviously I don't want to interact with it given the fact there's a... Could I use my lighter? Yeah, uh, I wonder, should I use my light up? Would that be a good idea? <laughs> I am now very curious. Oh, nope. Yeah, items. Uh, use. Use it right now. Alright, well, we'll have to try. <laughs> I was thinking I could use it to light, I don't know, light the truck on fire so I can uh, escape the blowing up the wall. Can't interact with you. Okay. Never mind. The game decided to blow it up for me. <laughs> oh god. First zombie reveals in every Resident Evil game. I don't think I'm going to be able to get that briefcase as well, thanks to the flames. You know, maybe not a good idea to set up a place near a graveyard. Especially if your company's known for creating zombies. That zombie was just stretching. He just had a nice relaxing nap. And also, I was going to ask why most of these zombies naked, but given the fact they have been buried on the ground and uh, they're rotten, makes sense, really. Okay, Claire, where was all your badass Matrix moves? How are you struggling to move past zombies? For God's sake, you freaking dropped your gun and grabbed it and shot a fuel tank. Oh. 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 oh fuck off. How was I supposed to... But, okay, really? Okay, game. If you're really going to put zombies in my path, that is just bullshit. That was just bullshit. <laughs> like, how was I supposed to avoid that? The terror begin. Oof. You alright there, man? Oh. Oh, suddenly you can dodge bullets now. Convenient. Mate, you're just wasting all your ammunition on trying to hit one person. Wait, wait. Don't shoot. Who are you? Huh? You're not a zombie. Well, great. Wait right there. I'm coming over. You I'm sound sure that little misunderstanding. But I thought you were another one of those monsters. Shut up. Make one wrong move and I'll shoot. I mean, yeah, you are uh Relax, beautiful. I said I was sorry. My name's Sorry. Steve. I was a prisoner on this island. And I'm guessing you're not from Umbrella either. No, I'm Claire. Claire Redfield. Claire. Hmm. Nice. I'll remember that. Hey, I don't like you. I 
heard there's an airport around here. Once I find it, I can finally escape from this crazy island. Well, I'll see ya. Hey, wait up! I don't want you following me, lady. You'll only slow me down. Okay. I don't even remember what your name was, but that voice, his mannerism, and the annoying sass. Oh boy, I am not a fan of that. Now, how does one use a, a pistol? Uh, yeah, how does... Uh, aha, there we are. I'm assuming... Okay, X is to shoot. Gotcha. Alright. Do you know what? It's actually easier to use the... Uh, yeah, it's easier to use the down pad than it is to use the fun stick to steer. Alright, nothing over here. The map's red, indicating that there's something around here. Maybe over here. Do you have anything on you? Aha! You do, actual bullets. I knew it. Always gotta look for the corpses. Alright, uh... Oh! Wait a minute. Oh, I can actually, uh... Alright, no screen sense is fine. Can I... Okay, well... Uh... Oh, I'll leave vibrations on. I oh, know they had to the atmosphere. All right, still can't turn on the, uh, still can't turn on the uh, subtitles. All right, so this is there's something around. Here. Maybe something here. Apparently a dust box. Okay. Unless that map just means you know this is where I am. All right. Oh, of course, central gate to the prison. It's locked. A hawk's picture is carved into the harbor. Okay, so we need to find the. An amulet or something with a hawk on it. Alright, uh. Is this up there? Nope, just a bit of rubble. Alright, let's, uh, let's head out. I'm gonna check the map quickly just to see if, uh. I can see if it's, uh. Just a location. Okay, so red just means I'm in that location. Alright, so I don't really know if uh, there is other items in there until I find them. And those look like whole zombies can crawl out of. I don't much appreciate that. Oh, that's it. There we go. Uh, anything over here? Ooh, is that an herb? It is an herb, yes. That reminds me, how is my, uh... Nope, not that. How's my health doing? I'm apparently still in the fine. I am still fine, and my name is Claire Fine. Fine Claire. Honestly, Claire was my favourite character from the second remake. <laughs> okay, oh, okay, wow, okay. Just throwing all the zombies at me. Okay. Oh, uh, sugar. There's a horrible smell lingering. Okay, oh. Right, I've forgotten how much I hated the uh, fixed camera angles because they didn't reveal much to me and it allowed me to just run face first into a zombie. Oh, you're clearly going to come to life. Uh, well, might as well take uh, this book. Prisoner's Diary. Alright, then. May 13th. This room stinks of death. Based upon the information I found, I believe that I am far south of the equator. Lucky for me, that bulb in the bunk below me is the one of those interesting types of guys. Is his name Billy Bobby? May 16th, today Bob told some crazy story of why he was put in the, this place with me. It turns out he has a podcast he does with some nerds talking about death battle. Bob said that he used to be an attendant of the head of this place. This boss named Alfred supposedly placed him here because of a tiny little mistake. Hmm. What does, does that mean? What's going to happen to me? May 20th, without warning, a group of military men took Bob to the building behind the guillotine stand. At midnight, I'll sneak out of here to see him. I've been hearing that anyone taken to that building never comes back. On top of that, there are though, these really large plastic bags constantly being moved from that place. I better pray for Bob. I was wrong. I shouldn't have gone there. What is going on in there? All I could hear was some insanely creepy laughter and the sound of Bob screaming. I don't know what to do. I can't stop thinking about it. Is that going to happen to me? I can't let it. I just can't. Since my last entry, all of my fellow inmates have been taken to that building. I know that I am next. It's obvious that we were all here to be used as Alfred's guinea pigs. There's no way out. What am I going to do? Ooh. Sorry to hear that. 
What was your name again? There has been some banging going on. Oh! Hello, I am getting a lot of bullets. And I can see why. Oh god, uh, how about no? Uh, why would you aim that way, Claire? Oh, oh, really? Really? Wow, I'm just- are you- Okay, I'm starting to remember why I did not like fixed camera angles in games. Alright, and he's still alive, apparently. Alright. I mean, they're still moving. Can I, uh, much like I could in the second, in the first game, can I burn their corpses? No, I cannot. Okay, yeah, that was. Okay, here's the thing. I understand this is an old game. I'm not going to be too harsh on it. However, if, if there's one thing I can say that the first game did well, is that it didn't just throw you into a room that are just zombies everywhere. You know, like every corner you turned, there was a zombie. Which, I will admit, that's kind of infuriating. That no, I doesn't, It doesn't seem like there was a way I could have avoided that. You know, it just seemed like I was just destined to get hurt. Was this merely just a room just to find that diary? Right, is there nothing else here? Was this merely just a room just for me to waste bullets and Twitch, shut up, I'm not watching my friend right now, I'm recording! RECORDING! Hmm. Alright. Well, this might seem like a waste of bullets, but I'd best off kill these zombies in here just so I can freely walk around the room. Again, might seem like a waste of ammo, but honestly, at this what? Ah, um, I was pressing. Okay, that's on me. I was pr I was pressing A to shoot, so I have the Resident Evil uh, one control scheme in my head. Okay, oh my God. okay yeah, that's on me again. Oh, God, I'm I'm doing terribly at the moment. I'm not used to tank controls. Oh my God. And no, it seems like I'm wasting ammo. But honestly, this game is just throwing so many zombies at me. I don't really see anywhere to run where I'd be safe. Uh, yeah, I need to get better at doing those uh, degree turns. Okay. Come on, just kill the zombie. Okay. Oh, nope. New. No. Okay. I don't know why the camera just decided to randomly switch here. Okay, now we are doing terribly at this game. I'm not used to old school Resident Evils. Alright, Twilight has some rather disgusting stains, which probably smell lingers. Alright, doesn't seem like there's anything else in there. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, I should have expected that. Alright, uh, can I do nothing useful in here? I really doubt that, Claire. Alright, it's still a bit warm. Oh, is that a map? I see it. Take prisoner map? Uh, yes. Alright. Let's have a look at this map. Okay, woof. Okay, quite a few places to look. Okay, I'm already doing terribly at this game. I'm just so used to like, I know Resident Evil 4 has, you know, tank controls, but I honestly don't feel like they were as, uh, it didn't feel as claustrophobic as you were in the open world. Eh? But I, I won't lie, this game really doesn't feel like it was, uh, Built for the. Well, oh no, okay, this game was built for tank trolls, but I can't lie that with so many zombies just thrown at me at once, it is feeling a bit jarring. So, man, lamp is really getting annoying. Half eaten food items are scattered in this area. Alright, do you know what? I know this might seem like a waste, but uh, I actually do need some help. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's get me in the fire. How does one? Oh my god, am I going to do the old fashioned way to reload? Okay, oh. What? Wait, what? what? Alright, uh. Fine. Oh my goodness, yeah, I have to do the old fashioned way, that's. That's both cute but also annoying. 
I I'm assuming red means I haven't looted everything in there, though. Oh. Yeah, let's just walk away from that. Let's just not even pay it attention. It can't hurt you if it doesn't know you exist. Oh no, not Zombie Ted. He was only three weeks from retirement. He's just like, no, please. I just got resurrected. Okay, I'm just going to run. By the way, Claire, nice booty. Okay. Uh, it's been locked from the other side with a padlock. Can't be open from this side. Of course it can't. I mean, couldn't you just climb it? There's no barbed wire up there. I feel like you could climb that. You know, put those Redfield strength to use. Ooh, yeah, that guy's gonna bust out. Oh, God. And let's just get ready to blow your brains out. Oh, my goodness. See what I mean, man? Look how many zombies they're throwing at me. The first game did not throw this many zombies. And of course, you're gonna get back up. And they're still moving. You sh- ooh, quite a lot of them there, actually. Oh, oh, for fuck's sake. I'll go. Alright, so I think it's going by Resident Evil 1 rules where if they start bleeding, that means they're definitely dead. Uh, before we do press any sort of button of any kind, let's actually look around. Yeah, because, um, yeah, I have a bad habit of pushing buttons and then bad things happen. Weapon over here! Alright, so let's look around. Oh, what's this? <laughs> what the fuck did you just do? Smoker. I saw a button and I pushed it! You fired a howitzer! <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, let's not go into that room of fire. Let's just... Oh, uh, door, what did I just do? Uh... Oh. I guess you've killed us all? Uh, release switch of metal detector. Uh, deactivation lamp is on. Do I really want to walk through a metal detector while I'm holding a gun? Please deposit any metallic items you have in the security box. Uh. Uh oh. Can I turn you off? Uh oh. Okay then, so I need to I need to put something metallic in that. Right, I get you. So okay, couldn't I just go out into the junkyard and just find a piece of metal and just place it in there? You know, I'm assuming that would work. Alright, let's uh Alright, let's push this button, see what happens. Okay, it must be locked. Of course it is. Uh how about Completely now down, impossible to open it. Uh, can I open you and take a risk at trying to get in there? No, actually, let's explore more now. Okay, so I know, you know, if we don't put a gun in there, then we're going to die. Actually, let, let's. Uh, I'm not sure if it'll Please destroy my. I don't think it'll. Any metallic items you have in the security box. I don't think it will destroy my gun. Alright. Okay, so I, I can't actually place it in there. Uh, yep. Uh, oh! Yeah, let's leave my knife in there. Oh, no, it still doesn't work. I don't understand though, I put my knife in there. I mean, I guess it would be a useless metal detector if, uh... Please deposit any metallic items you have. Wait, have I lost my gun now? Box. Or have I lost my knife? Oh, knife's still in there. Alright, let's actually have a look around and see. Uh... Okay, so we literally cannot progress any further. Uh... I mean, couldn't I just logically just leave my gun here, then do the thing? Is that possible? I don't know. 
Alright, let's see what happens when I switch my gun. I know I'm wasting a lot of time here, but I might as well see what happens if I just switch things around. So, let's... Alright. Does that work? No, it... Okay, let's leave this... Well, I can't leave two things in there. I... Yeah, I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> Alright, I'm sure it will come back to me uh, at some point. Uh, let's do it with you. Alright, so I can't leave my gun in now, and my knife, so... You know... Alright, so... Let's look at let's look at the map again. Um, okay, where haven't we explored? Okay, well we can't go in there, because that's not... Is, that, is there anywhere else in this? Let's save. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Yellow means item. As in, there's still item in there? Uh. I'm not. I don't exactly know how that works. Alright, let's head back to where we saw that, uh creepy first-person perspective of a monster that was looking at my butt. Which, to be fair, is a nice butt. Okay, so... I don't want to waste any more bullets, so I might just... Oh, Cerberus dogs! Oh, shit. Yep, d don't bother shooting those guys. Oh, God. Well, I don't know where to go. Uh, the door! <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I haven't tried this door, actually. It's been completely now down, it's a possible to move, of course it is. Huh. Okay, I'm a little lost, can I go back here? Yeah. Okay, I can go back here. Not sure it's a good idea, but I guess I might as well clear out those zombies. Alright, there was a briefcase, actually, so... Ugh. Uh... Yeah, just gonna... Sorry guys, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I feel like I'm wasting bullets. Uh, no, honestly, this game's not giving me many ways to get around you guys. Oh. The first zombie. Well, ironically, was not the first one to die. Okay, oh, and they're back up. Alright, so... Okay, yep, I obviously can't reach from the flames there. Alright, let's head back to um that prisoner guy and see if he's been zombified. Uh, I must be missing something. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised by that. I haven't found any. Yeah, I haven't really found uh, many things to interact with. I found herbs and pistol bullets, just not found any key items. Ugh. Uh, you doing good? It's too dark to make out anything. Ah, really? Oh, I do not have a. I do not have a lot of bullets. His eyes are closed. Clean, I'll need it. No. And I'm not sure that's going to be possible. <laughs> Alright then. I'm low on bullets. Because the game d cause it was not so generous at giving me ways to get around zombies. I probably need my knife back as well, because I might have to resort to the knife. Alright, well, I'm gonna look around and see, uh. I'm just gonna look around and see, uh, what I might have missed. <laughs> oh! What? What? You've taken. Wait, what are those? Yeah, I need to see. It. I don't know what they are, but I'm gonna equip them. They seem like. Dual wielded machine guns, is that 100%? Uh, okay. I don't know why they weren't there before. Can I actually climb through this window somewhere? Nope, I cannot. Okay, still lost. Um, hey, we got new weapons now, so I we might put them to good use. Oh my god, there's a scroll! Right, okay, does that include this? Okay. But wait, I have no botanic items. 
I've literally given away all my weaponry. How is this still Please not? Please deposit any metallic items you have in the security what? box. But everything's in there. Oh my goodness, my lighter as well. Are you kidding me? Really? This game was really limited me this much. Jesus Christ. Okay. Oh wait, so... Okay, no, I can't get up there. Uh, that was on. Okay, but now I have no way of defending myself. Unless this is meant to be like a safe Ooh, are those acid rounds? Okay, gas rounds, eh? Hmm. Could be handy. I don't see the point of wasting them on zombies. Oh, and Yeah, flame rounds. Now those I can see doing a lot of damage. Alright, the hell is this? Uh, oh, first aid spray. Yeah, I could definitely uh, do that. I had to waste my herbs. Alright, there's an activation switch. Press the switch, of course. Activate the enhanced 3D scanner. Please place the material you wish to scan on the scanner portion of this machine. Um, okay, I'm assuming I'm going to need this for a puzzle. Our new product, the 3D duplicator, consists of two parts. Uh, this portion scans a 3D object. Simply place the material that you want to have scanned onto the tray of the scanner. The scan object will be pre <laughs> processed into a 3D data. Transfer to the duplicator portion. Okay, if you place the material you wish to convert on the machine, you can begin conversation. Begin conversion based on the 3D data that was created by the 3D scanner portion. The conversion will be executed with complete data accuracy. The result will be an object precisely true to the original. Okay. So if I was to place my gun on here, then could I just create another gun? Unless I need to print something else off. Oh, maybe like the key for the door. Uh, so, oh yep, yeah, this is definitely a safe room. Alright, that may have been used for monitor prisoners. Uh, yeah, can I interact with that paper? Thanks on the facility. Be sure to verify the content following the facility access application form and add the application's name to the expected visitors list. Chief Prison uh, Guard Room, Paul Steiner. I hereby apply for success permission for prisoner, Prison Area D. Details follow. Visitors' is name Carl Grisham. Carrying in the following materials, one new product sample from the material in the TG01. Oh, that sounds like a BOW. Various daily commanders ordered by the prison. We will use the uh, trans. Uh, we're not. We're, I don't know what's going on with me. One will use a transportation truck. Two, TG01 sample will be stored in the designated briefcase. I'm assuming that's what I need to get from the burning car. Okay. Oh! Chris Redfield. This asshole again. What are you doing here? Chris Redfield. Is he a relative of yours or something? You mean my brother? Ah, your siblings. You know him? Well, it seems your brother is under surveillance by Umbrella. What? I mean, he was at the mansion where his crew were eliminated. I've got so. to contact Leon and tell him to let my brother know he's being monitored. It's a good thing I have access to an outside connection from here. Oh, we're going to see Leon. Latitude and longitude of this place. <laughs> Why don't you send your brother the coordinates and ask him to come help? Thanks. I'll do that. Hey, I was just kidding. There's no way he could get here, even if he is your brother. Yes, he can. I'm sure of it. I will admit the writing is no a bit way. bad. He won't come. You'll just end up disappointed if you rely on others. Believe me, I know. I really don't what like this guy. That all about? Yeah, I really do not like this guy. Uh, anyway, I see more notes. Oh, completely unintentional, but I will take you. Thank you, my friend. Oh, I can't get past the security. Alright, so you just casually send that to Leon. 
Alright, free ink ribbons. Always fun. Gonna use one to save now. Alright, so what was uh he doing with this? Pulled lever? Sure, why not? I pretty much pushed every single button. Oh. Uh, the door's being held by something. Can't be open from this side. Uh, fair enough. Any other items in here? Preferably bullets, because I've had to waste a lot on zombies. Yeah, I kind of wasted a few trying to go back to area that I honestly didn't need to now that I think about it. Uh, I don't know what's all that moaning about. Uh, right, so... Oh, wait a minute. I know what to do with you now. Okay, okay. Yep, yep, yep. So I can't take metallic with me, but I can get a perfect replica. <laughs> Big brain bill in the house. And voila. And just like that, we have a duplicate. Um, oh right, I need to actually, you know, press the button. Do I need to press the button here? Oh. Wait, I, I've done everything though, haven't I? Hold on a minute, let me uh, look at the file again. Uh, file... Oh wait, no. Okay, Prisoner's Diary. Wait, no. No, that's not what I want. Where's the file on... Then here? No, it's just... What? Oh, right! Okay, that's confusing. Alright. Uh, so, not you. Alright, well. Okay. Yeah, that's. Okay, here it is. Alright, so. Let's see what I might have meant. Scan and train, scan and build the process. Transfer to the duplicated portion. You place the material you wish to convert. The execute complete day actually the result will be on. Okay then, but but why hasn't it worked? Is it? Did I break the game? Okay, it's been prepared, but why can I not? I'm I'm lost. It it's nothing happened. Did I do something wrong? Just... Okay, I guess I'll come back here later. Uh... Please deposit any metallic items you have in the security box. Does grenade count? Okay, I guess grenade launch does count. Alright, so, place you in there, place you in there, and place you in there. Alright. Like, I didn't, I didn't do anything Please wrong, did I? Deposit any metallic items right. you have in the security box. Surely, like, okay, so pretty much every item I have counts. Okay, I think that's a stupid mechanic, but whatever. Hold on, what about people who work here? Like, surely that will just end up... Surely that will just end up no one can access anything. Okay, yeah, the data is... What? I, I don't... I... Hold on, let me check this room again, but maybe I'm missing something. Okay, I kind of cheated a little bit. Um, so because I was so lost about why that didn't work, uh, I did look up of. Uh, a small playthrough of what to do. So it turns out uh, I didn't look any further than, uh, you know, what happened after. So once the person put the thing in, he just. Uh, what was it? Yeah, he just. 
went out, and I think he went to one of the other doors. I can't remember which one it was though, so I think I just gotta start interacting with things until I don't know a cutscene happens. Uh, and I don't have. I better take my knife with me as well because I've wasted so many bullets, man. And I do. I guess I best take everything. Uh, maybe not everything. All right, let's see how these guns do. So let's leave our regular pistol here. We'll see how these ones do. Oh, do I better take my lighter just in case it's too dark to see? All right. Okay, that goes in standard actually, so that's fine. All right, so. Wait, let's see how uh, these new guns do. Yeah, so I really hate having to look up guides sometimes when it comes to games, but I'd rather just, you know, look up a guide and find out, you know. Oh! Oh! Oh, right, with the shutter thing I interact with, right! Okay, I get. Oh! Oh! Yeah, that's terrific. Okay, it's time to put this new gun to use. Alright, uh, Okay. So it's not a laser gun, I was hoping it was. It is just a gun that uh, uses a percentage of ammunition. Okay, wasn't that free? So, I mean, four. Oh! Uh, mate. Uh, well, I'm just gonna. Okay, um, oh, fire extinguisher! Yes, now I can get that briefcase. Yeah, give me that. Oh, yeah. And while I'm at it, I might as well head in here and see if there's any supplies. How many seems to have been tied up here? Um, flesh pillar stuck to the wall. Plus, I might have been tied to the pillar. I'm gonna guess those zombies. Oh, ooh, guillotine. Okay, ooh, padlock key. Ah, oh, right, ah, oh, for that thing out there, right. Alright then. Blue plate. Alright then, so we've got to get uh, that thing. So, do I not get that? Do I not get that key? Maybe it takes a while to print off, so maybe me leaving it in there and I'll come back later and it will uh, work again. Or it'll be ready for me. Maybe that's how it's going to work. Excuse me, Cerberus. Alright, you guys aren't as hard to dodge as you were in uh, the remakes. And Cerberus in those games sucked. Ah, oh, fuck. It's hard to run with tank controls, alright? Alright, while we're here, let's just... Yep, use the padlock key. Alright, then you no longer need to use this key. Discard, yep, indeed. Out, okay, that was cheap dog, but I'll allow it. Okay, I, I pressed X, but the game's like, nope. Ugh, <sighs> oh my god. Okay, ooh. You just, um... You enjoy your meal there, I'm gonna go get- Oh, oh shit! Freaking hate fixed camera angles. I understand why people like them in the original games, but I've hated fixed camera angles. In any game, I've just hated them. Because they block out, like, enemies going that way. Oh! So I shoot in multiple directions when I dual wield, okay. You bleeding? Yeah, you bleeding. When they bleed, you know they dead. Okay. I like this new gun. The only other dual wood that I've seen in Resident Evil was the one in Resident Evil uh, 6. And honestly, that wasn't uh, too great. Don't stand too close. Yeah. Okay, so now we've got the briefcase, which I'm assuming is going to have that uh, sample from the BOW. Alright. Looks pretty beaten up. No, I suppose it did just come out of uh, an explosion. Uh, let's check it. And there's a button there. There's a button. Push it. Yeah. Push it real good. Oh! oh. There was a special document. Wait, isn't so it wasn't a sample? Thank you for your contribution support for using our products. This time we have gathered our most advanced technologies and have seen in creating a unique anti-metal detection al- Oh! Ooh, that's gonna come in handy. Cannot be detected by any uh, metal detectors. Cannot be uh, pictured by. Uh, re I'm not even gonna bother to figure out what that says. At the migration check, lightweight yet durable. We plan to develop various weapons utilizing this innovation. New alloy, 
We have enclosed a sample for you to review. We look forward to hearing from you regarding possible business opportunities. Uh, okay then. That was Chief Development Planning, Carl Redhill. Okay then, so... We can take that with us through the metal detector, obviously. Um, but why though? Can we use that to make something? Something that I don't know of yet. Can we use it to make... No, we can't use it to make a handgun. Okay. Oh, someone tells me they finished their meal. Can I tiptoe around them without having to waste a bullet? Yes, we can! Okay, so... Is it just if we hold it that we can just sneak around? Do it. Here's something I've never quite understood about the Cerberus zombie dog. So, the, oh, why didn't I just fart? Why didn't I just go through the unlock gate, man? I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot, guys. My bad. So, if we can just, like, if if humans, when they become zombified, just slowly limp around, unable to run, why is it that um, Cerberus dogs, when they're zombified, don't have to? Also, I never actually commented on this. Is no, nope, nothing to say about it. Fair enough, fair enough. Alright. Also, um, am I able to charge these guns or reload them? Please deposit any metallic items you have in the security box. Alright, let's see why it's one I just did. Nope, that uh, didn't work. Alright, so we have to dispose everything again. Alright, so. I'm assuming we're going to leave this behind as well. It didn't disappear though, so we clearly need a future things. Alright. And let's just switch off this log because it's annoying. Alrighty then. Ooh. That's, um. That's a lot of zombies. Is it every time I've caused that alarm that's starting to, uh. Alright, so can I use you? No? No. Later on then. Okay then. Ah, I get you now. Right. Doesn't make sense at all, but I'll allow it. Question on how am I gonna get those grenade launcher ammo? You know what? Doesn't matter. We've uh, we've now got the key for the door. Oh, terrific! Okay. Um. Do you know what? Let's um. Hmm. Are we just gonna have to run for it? I'm not sure that's going to work. Alright, ready? Uh, Jesus! Oh, I just dodged the zombie. Alright. Please deposit any metallic items you have in the security box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Alright, so let's time it. Oh, fuck off. You know what, fuck it, let's just run. I don't care if I lose a bit of health. Yep. Totally fair, game. Just totally fair. Okay, then, I have to admit, I so far do not like this mechanic. I really do not. Get a lighter back. Yeah, fire extinguisher and take our guns. <laughs> the uh, submachine guns. Well, not submachine guns. They, they, okay, here's what I don't understand that. So, is it just it just has limited ammo in it, and there's no way to replace it? And I'm just wasting it just by spraying all the monsters with it. Oh god, I need more herbs, man. I'm I'm nearly dead. <laughs> I need herbs. Yep, yeah. oh, Cerberus. No, 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 no. Yeah, I just don't like that mechanic that they've introduced, that whole alarm system. Oh, good. Okay. 
let's just uh, interact with you, open the door, everybody get on the dinosaur. Alright, these have gone to a new area finally. Hello, emo guy. Are you here? Oh my goodness. Just, uh, more fire. Can I see it from this side? Okay. Yeah, I don't understand why I need to spray X with everything when I need to step downstairs, man. Alright, uh, can I interact with you? Oh, so how much are we getting out of here? Ah, so this is what our little fire extinguisher was. Well, it's a good thing I remember to bring it. What? There's no use for it. Mate, there's fire right in front of us. Look, there's fire. Oh, this looks like it could be interacted with. Or it could be stepped on. Why can it be stepped on? Okay, ooh. What is this? Uh, more hangar bullets, that's good to know. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, so I could push it. Oh, maybe I could push it into the flame. Right, I get you now. Slowly but surely. Again, then, why couldn't I just use my fire extinguisher? It's like, I have it. You know, why not use it? And voila. Alright, man, I am really damaged. Which is very unfortunate. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I need to find more herbs. I've always kind of liked these transitions in the classic Resident Evils, you know. Ooh. Just gonna make a mad dash for that door. Please don't grab me, you annoying zombies. Phew! Oh. That sounds like Cerberus! Oh god, Cerberus, Cerberus, Cerberus. Open the door. This looks like an important place. It's a key card thing here. Card reader, silver in colour. Okay, that's good to know. I thought going to be another loading screen for a moment. Alright. Oh, this is. Doorknob is missing. I can't open it. Fair do. Fair do. Alright, so far I have a bit of a mixed uh, feeling about this game. Oh, that's that looks fine. It's too dark to see inside. Okay, come on, you can clearly see in there. All right, it says door light says that the door says bio experiment room. Normal air. I can't enter the pass number. Okay, so we need to find a code for that. Okay. Ooh, a bodar. Okay. Okay, this is a file. Then you have a pass number. The emergency door lock system in the biology experiment room can be released within a four-digit pass number. I hope you haven't forgotten about that already. I have just received orders from the system administrator requesting us to change the pass number at periodically. What problems me is that you often lose important memos, pass numbers, or even chemicals. So in the attempt to solve that problem, I came up with an idea. You know the red human skeleton picture at the back room of the biological experiment room? I decided to use the number signed on the picture as the pass number. If you happen to lose the memo, just look at the picture. Okay. Well, I don't think you would n ever need to use the emergency pass number anyway, but just in case, now you know. Take it easy, uh, care Mr. Careless. <laughs> Alright then. So, the skeleton. Oh. Kutsi! Ooh. Oh, please don't tell me that is what I think it is. And now we can't see. Oh, no, never mind. The blood wipes us off. There appears to be no one around. The picture is hanging in the back. Can't see the number from here. Was that a hunter? Please tell me that wasn't a hunter. Please, no. Yeah, I can't see the number. Uh, oh, maybe I should switch to uh, my bow. Yeah. Yeah. Bow and arrow. Okay, so 
Uh, how do we get the number in there? Maybe I need to use like a scope or something. Hazard contamination detected. Level three. Emergency shutters will close. Oh, Personnel bollocks! Whoa! <laughs> You're lucky you tripped past it. <laughs> Oh my goodness, you were like an inch away from losing your arm. Okay, and so now, ah, so that's what the key things are, right? We need to get the key card to get back in there. So I think I saw something here. Ooh, thank you. That will definitely come in handy. Alright. Got a lot of guns, not a lot of space for health kits. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, hello there, mate. Let's just, uh... Really? Wow, this thing is... Wow, this thing is useless. Utterly useless. Wow, yeah, this... I do not like this weapon. It takes way too much ammo just to kill... Yeah, that takes way too much ammo just to kill one guy. Alright, well, luckily we found some more ammo. Alright. Alright, map of this building shown on the monitor. Seems like I can print it out. Oh, yep, I would love a map, please. Alright, something tells me this is going to be a big map. Alright, train and facility map. This looks like a house. They're not. Oh my goodness. Jesus. I don't think I maybe should have left some things behind. Hopefully I'll find uh, somewhere I can put items. Okay, so we have a lot of places to look. Exciting. Also, there's a drawers there. Can I interact with them? Alright. It's good with a simple lock. Okay then, so we need a lock pick. Which is something Claire knows how to do. Have you just been there this whole time? I can move- wait, hold on. Was I able to move the corpse? For fuck's sake. Cheap mechanic. And to be fair, I into it. Oh my goodness, I am- I think I'm going to have to sacrifice my pistol bullets just so there's room for other stuff. Is, well, I'm going to have to run all the way back to that security box. Alright, I saw a locker here that looked like an axe wound. Nope, just weirdly coloured. Fair enough. You look like an axe wound. It's locked, seems I need a special key to release the lock. Of course you do. Anything of importance in here that isn't that door? No. Going right to view, secure relay stock of the field here, there's nothing useful here, fair enough. Alright, so I'm not really sure what I think of this game. Um, Resident Evil 1's uh, remake, you know, got me immersed and it was very creepy, you had to be very sparing with your ammo, but this game's kind of forcing my hand into needing to fight these guys, like. Uh, uh, really? Really? Oh my god. Okay, I tried to shoot his legs. Okay, no, no, I tried to move away. Oh my god. I will admit, maybe I should have been shooting further from a distance. I didn't. Alright, well, at least I could combine that. Broken. Oh man. I'm not thirsty right now. How? Nothing of interest. Nothing of interest. Have you even looked in the locker? Yeah, I had to admit, like, the first game just had me intrigued a lot more than this one. This game kind of feels like it's trying to be kind of what Resident Evil 4 was trying to be, more action-packed. But honestly, a lot of weapons they're giving me uh, and stuff like that. Like, look, that just that's just pitiful. Right. 
Like, look how many shots it took just to bring down one. Admittedly, it is good that it locks onto them, so I will give it that. But, yeah, oh my goodness, like, really? Look how many shots that took. How? I don't have that much ammo left. Oh my god. Okay, well, at least I'm getting more arrows. But, uh, what the... Alright, let's reload our bow and arrow. I don't even know how my bow and arrows managed to hold that much. Oh, that looks like I'm in the right loop. More bows and arrows. See, it's giving me a lot of ammunition, which... The first game was good at sparing and not giving you everything. But given the fact this game is giving me a lot of ammo, I think like, it knows that the game... That this portion of the game does get diff it's gonna throw enemies at you, which I know, I always like to kind of strategize in my, my weaponry so I knew, you know, what to save and you know when to uh, kill the monsters. Alright. Nothing left. Alright, so I've already moved in there. But this game's just throwing me in such like cramped areas with zombies that it's making it difficult to escape them. Alright. Ooh. Ooh, you look like you were in the sauna for a bit too long there, mate. Uh, let me just get back. Let me just uh, <laughs> go here so you'll restart your path. So yeah, so far the game is not a positive impression. Uh, something tells me as well I need to go in there to see what's... Oh. Come on, die, 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 die. Yeah, like, seriously, look how many shots it takes just to kill one. Alright. Alright. I'll go. Move, move, move. Alright. Just die, you goddamn zombie. That's what you get for being in the sauna for too long. Okay. Uh, for a moment, I thought this was a lot deeper than uh, it looked. Alright. Uh, shut the valve. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I'm doing it. I'm not sure Gabe Newell will be happy I'm messing with his valve. Okay, ooh! it be something shiny. And, oh, a key with a tag on it. Okay, let's have a look at this tag. Okay, oh, no, not use. No, not combine either, my mistake. Alright, small key when may still the word storage on it. Okay, so it's a storage key. Oh, maybe for that uh, closet. Device used to control the water current. It's broken. Fair enough. Right, I'm also going to just quickly uh, check in here and see if there's any useful items. Oh, a nice relaxing sauna. A sauna. There's a lot of hot air inside. Really? I never would have thought a sauna would do that. I really thought it was just a, a giant freezer. Alright, let's uh, head back to the storage and uh, find out what's inside it. Alright then, what secrets do you hold? You don't need this key anymore? Yep, discard it. Ooh, and lockpicks. Noise. Or, or gunpowder. Huh. Well, now I don't have any space to store anything. Hmm. Okay. Oh, now I've got gunpowder. Uh, do I combine it with... Oh! Okay, maybe that makes it more useful again. So, so I did all this just for that? That didn't seem worth it. I thought that was going to give me like some sort of key or something. I don't even think there's anywhere else I can go now. I think I've explored everywhere that I can at the moment. Yeah, bro. Uh, Alright, I guess I'll come back here later. Alright, yeah, I guess I'll come back here later when I get, like, a key card or something. I need to dispose of some items, so, like... Alright, I do not have enough, uh... room on me, like... Oh, God. Cerberus dogs everywhere, please. Not from the other side, of course it is. Please don't let me get bitten by a dog. I probably should just kill these guys. In fact, you know what? I think I'll just do that. Oh god. Yeah, please dogs, leave me be! <laughs> hmm. 
suddenly all their intimidation is lost. Okay. Well, well, not much I could have really done there. Alright, let's just... Oh my god. Alright, let me just kill these guys. Okay, well, they're not easy to hit. Lovely. Just... And I haven't saved in a while yet. <laughs> I, I am enjoying this game. I, I'm dead. Yeah, I'm I'm dead. Oh, God. Nah, I, I'm so dead. Look at me, I'm limping. Already. These guys are so hard to hit, or I'm just bad. Could just stop the... No, no, I can't use the elevator. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> All right, let's get back there. Jesus Christ. Okay, so we're back all the way here. Jesus, that took a long time. So, you know what? Right now, I'm just going to deal with these guys and look down here and see if I missed anything crucial. Holy crap, I can hit that zombie in the distance. Damn. He's got the aims of Hawkeye. Alright. So. There you go. You. Do, do, do. You dead. Thank God. Alright. What's behind the gate number one? Oh, my God. That was such a boring trip. I, I, I both love but also hate uh, ink ribbons. I understand the, the survival mechanic of it that, you know. You need to be sparing what you say, what you uh, hold on to. Like what, like what point do you save? It can come off as a bit of an annoying mechanic, though. at least to me. I know I might be in a minority when I say that. I think it could be fun if I was doing like um, a perma death run. And ooh, was that? No, that's not. No, that's a uh, that's a hexagon there, or pentagon. I can't remember. Yeah, I don't think it'll go for that door. I'm also nearly out of bullets for this gun, that's worrying. Alright, so what's this thing for? Alright, well, I'm gonna look around here. Please be a save point somewhere here. Like, somewhere I can just save. Alright, yeah, that's nearly out of ammo. Uh, oh, ah! Okay then, so can I put you here? No, I can't put you here. Okay then. Right, so we can't use you. And uh, we've got some more arrows here. Ben, do you want to pick up the arrows? So we're going to need that for our bow soon. Alright, it's a bit weird that the bow just acts like a different version of the pistol here. Why would not just give me more pistol bullets? I also kind of feel like the dual wielding pistol, I just don't really see the point in having it, really. Like, I mean, mechanic wise, it's actually pretty useful. Okay, oh, I can also go in here now. And there's a lot of areas I need to explore in this game. A mansion! Okay then. I don't like any atmosphere of this game. There's some things in this game I'm enjoying, like the atmosphere and everything like that. Alright. God, I had to leave so many things behind. Security lock system is active. Enter an employee ID to activate a locking device. Please enter your ID number. Well, I don't have one. I am not with Umbrella. Nothing useful or for what to resent. Uh. Oof. Yeah, this is gonna be uh, just like the first game where you had to like just explore and just find things. Right. Oh, is that a health kit? Thank you. Right. I really need uh, to. I see bats up there. I'm not sure if I should have killed them, but I did just because you know they remind me of the crows from the first game. Oh, another briefcase. Am I gonna always have to run back and forth to that security room just to deposit stuff? By a simple lock. I had a lockpick. Okay, so I do need a lockpick to get in this. 
Okay. Wall pipe is broken, of course it is. Can I not interact with anything else? Oh! I found bullets! Alright. And I really should have taken my pistol now because I'm nearly out of the dual wielding pistol. Admittedly, I do think this weapon's good for taking out multiple hostiles. Hostiles? Hostiles. Ah, am I really going to want to walk all the way back there, though? I might not have a choice, really. Alright. So, let's just check in here. Yeah, I've always kind of liked the first game for always encouraging you to save uh, using your weaponry. You know? Four years have passed since I began serving Sir Alfred. Ooh, we're going to get more backstory on this guy. He doesn't trust anyone, even though I am his attendant. I'm still strictly prohibited from entering his private house. What is his problem anyway? They say he lives with his twin sister, Alexa, in his private house on the hill. Occasionally, I've seen someone standing by the window of the house. Might have been Alexa. Alexa, who, whose extreme beauty is often talked about. I once asked uh, Sir Alfred about this, but it only enraged him. Even though I am his attendant, he will not show me any lesions. If I ask about her again, I could be put my life at risk. After all, it is my mystery why he so desperately tries to keep his private life with Alexa a secret. Okay then. Interesting. Alright, got more bullets. Alright, so I'm gonna dump some stuff in here. So, at least we finally found a safe room, Jesus. Alright, I might... I might actually just do a quick dash back to... That, uh... Yeah, that security room just to get my pistols. Because I need them. I need them really badly. Alright, it's, uh... Oof, I don't want to waste my... How many ink rooms did I get? Three, okay. Um, let's explore the rest of this room, then I'll decide uh, whether I want to... Right, I'm going to explore more of this room before I... Uh... Oh wait, no, this leads me back to the lobby. Alright, yeah, so... I don't think there's anything else in this room to find. So I think I'm just going to save up and then make a mad dash back to... Ooh, hold on a minute. Ooh, what is under there? There is evidence that the shelf has been moved. Okay, so let's... Uh... Give it a move. I hate tank controls, man. Especially for humans. Alright. There we are. And what is this? Oh, an ID card. Nice. Alright, let's grab these herbs as well. Alright, I'm going to dump this in the safe box. Uh, first, let's see if I can open this door. It's locked. Alright, so I need a key for uh, that door. Something that maybe resembles that insignia. Alright. Right, let's uh, enter this ID code and then we can uh, solve one of these puzzles. I mean, it wasn't really much of a puzzle, it's just more or less find the item for this. Alright, let's enter this code and I'm going to make a mad dash back to uh, get my weapons. Oh yeah, I didn't even check the uh, ID card. That might be a good idea. Alright. Let's uh, have a look. Okay. Uh, ID card for a road employee. The word is uh, NTCO3094. Alright, I guess I'm going to have to enter all of that. Alright. Yep, yep. Get all this. Alright, it was N T C O. Uh, what was the rest of it? <laughs> this is what happens when you have a memory like me. Alright, N T C O three nine four. Alright, hopefully it's kept some thread now. Alright, let's try it again. N T C O nine three was it three four? I I hope it was. I guess the way Oh my god, what numbers did I get wrong? 
Oh my god, why not just show it on screen? Jesus Christ. This is just my bad name. Uh, 0394. Okay, that's why I mixed up. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my god. Come on. Alright. Been confirmed. The security lock system is deactivated. Okay. Oh! Okay. Yeah. Oh wait, no. Oh, I wanted to discard it. No! Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh my... Oh my god. Really? Oh well. I've unlocked that door. But well, first things first, I want to make the run for that. Uh, I want to run and get my guns, alright? <laughs> okay, people. So, I got back my guns. And it was... Quite a drag, I won't lie. Um, okay, but I have played this for nearly two hours. Um, so I'm going to leave this episode off here. Um, I have to be honest. Um, so far, this game is not leaving a good impression on me. It it controls fine, but I think the problem is though I was pl I was going into this thinking it was going to be like the first Resident Evil game, but honestly, it plays more like Resident Evil, the original Resident Evil Three, which. Strive to be more action packed rather than uh, uh, survival horror in a way. Which, you know, eventually Resident Evil 4 nearly perfected it. Um, I just. Uh, a story I'm also not invested in. The characters are quite boring. And Claire is so far not the same Claire from the remake that I like. I don't know. I'm a, I'm, it's a bit mixed with me. Um, I'm hoping it gets better. I'm hoping there's not too... Oh, that's the other thing. Um, I feel like the, the save zones are way too spaced out between one another. And considering the fact they're just going to throw almost like the endless supply of zombies and monsters, that's going to feel a bit uh, redundant. But I'm hoping, you know, people. I've seen people praise this game. I've seen people disregard it as one of the worst games. So far, I'm a bit mixed. There's some good moments, but there's also some awkward moments. But... I will see how the rest of the game goes. Hopefully this doesn't become one of those games that I've just discontinued due to boredom or annoyance. So thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw here, be sure to share the video around and get the channel growing. Farewell everybody.